And so when I met Leo, who was working on this issue and we came together, it was an immediate connection where we both said to ourselves, we have to share this powerful concept with others out there and everyone else who has not had the opportunity. It is one of the most time proven uh, techniques and methodologies of really improving yourself as a leader that has ever existed. And as we go through in the book, under certain conditions, it is really something incredibly powerful. So it was my own experience and Leo's work that came together to share this. So interesting. You know, if you think about it, there are there are thousands of books out there about leadership, hundreds more on followership, and very few about the people that stand beside us. And we thought that our, our peers, especially in the business and education space, uh, that spending some time talking about how valuable they are, how important they are to our success, both personally and professionally, uh, was of real value. I mean, you think about it, right? We've experienced peer influence our whole life. Our parents cared about who we hung around with as right. kids. We've had people in our lives who have, um, you know, certainly lifted us up. They've dragged us down. They've held, held us at bay uh, sometimes. And it really doesn't change, you know, as we get older. Our peers matter a whole lot. And what's interesting is, is peer influence is, is such a uh, pervasive part of our lives, both in obvious ways and in ways that aren't so obvious. So we often don't really give it a second thought. And in this book, we basically say, imagine if you gave it a second thought. What would that look like if you were more selective, more strategic, or more structured about how you engaged your peers? And the beauty is we don't have to guess at the answer to that question because people for decades now have participated in this DEO peer advisory group to, to great benefit. Uh, it was just an opportunity for us, I think, to give language around that in a way that would give more CEOs and more business owners and business leaders, really at all levels, uh, the information that will, I think, help them evaluate this as a, just a wonderful opportunity for their uh, executive development. Well, it, it's really important. We address this a bit through Edward Hall's uh, work in the book around culture, about high context cultures and low context cultures. And what's interesting is if we think peer influence is a big deal in the United States, which is by and large a lower context culture as far as Hall's models is concerned. In higher um, context cultures in Asia and the Middle East, uh, in many other countries around the world, peers matter even more. So what's interesting is no matter what country you live in in the world, peer influence and peer advantage has a real place in terms of helping people uh, be more successful uh, both in, in their business and in their life.